Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. I am going to look in on my lasagna bin today. This is basically the easiest worm bin ever. If you've ever kind of thought maybe that worm bins were complicated and you needed to have a lot of equipment and whatnot to have a worm bin, this is the bin for you. So I'm going to go through uh, this with you uh, and tell you the theory behind it, etc. So it started out, we're just going to kind of start digging through here as I'm talking. So it started out as a breeding experiment because I had noticed that when I did put full sheets of cardboard into a bin that I would often see lots of cocoons uh, uh, in between the flutes. So I thought, well, if I went and made a whole bin with just cardboard, then possibly, you know, I would have a lot better uh, breeding. So that's what I'd started out with. And it didn't really turn out that I was getting a whole lot more um, due to that. But what I did notice was that it was super easy for me to, you know, just grab some cereal boxes, etc., and throw them in the bin, and uh, put food on top of the cardboard, and then put more cardboard on top of the food and walk away. Now this bin has about a pound of my Uncle Jim's mix, which is a combination of red wigglers, blue worms, and European night crawlers, and this is a 10 gallon or 38 liter bin. So what we did last time was we took and we put cardboard at the bottom, and then I think the food was basically some... Uh, stir-fry or and then some oatmeal and then some banana and then we gave them some of this packing paper which seems to uh, be in the process of being well loved and then there was cardboard so let's kind of just peel back the the top castings layer here and see what we've got it's been 20 days since we looked in on these guys and you can see how they do kind of line up in the flutes and uh, Although I'm not seeing any cocoons quite yet, that was what I had observed originally, was that there was always a lot of cocoons in the flutes of the cardboard. So we're just going to kind of peel back the lasagna here and see what's going on. You can see that the banana's gone, all that's left is that stem. Of course, the uh, got a little banana peel left here. And it looks like we've got quite a few worms. So you can see there's not a lot of uh, cocoons here in the, in the cardboard, uh, but basically what we do have is a nice easy worm bin. So here's the Amazon mailer that we were experimenting with last time. It's got these little poofy things that are reported to be cornstarch related or based, and the worms are definitely getting into it, but after less than three weeks, we're not quite there yet. And it looks like we've still got some of the noodles, etc. left and on this side anyway. So that's our Amazon mailer project that we had. So if we come over to this side, I think this side was fed more of the, the paper here, and then we had tomatoes. But I'm going to have to uh, help out this little spider here because I don't, I don't not like him. I just don't want to get bit. All right, that's it different tool for the job. Come on, buddy. Out. There we go. All right. So, fed some avocado. That's pretty much a staple in my bin. Let's kind of unbury this over here and see what we've got. So, we've got a lot of the, the tomato peels and also seeds, but uh, those were frozen, so they're not going to grow on me. And I'm not seeing the cardboard that was in the bottom here. Uh, maybe just a little. So, I'm not sure if that was Amazon tape or not. We'll find out. If it goes away, then it was Amazon tape, and if it doesn't, then maybe it wasn't. But it looks like most of that cardboard is gone, and that packing paper is also uh, definitely in the process of being degraded. So this bin is good if you just, you know, want to not use a shredder and make things overly complicated. Basically what you have to do is you just put in sheets of cardboard and food, and then let the worms take care of it. So I'm going to go ahead and give them another sheet of cardboard here. It's been soaking for a while in just, just regular old uh, water. And then I'm going to just give them a little bit of a feeding. This is long-term food because of the... Uh... Okay, so this, this will be kind of some slow food here with the avocado shell and the onion and a little bit of carrot here, which will be fast food. And then I'm going to give them some of their favorites, which is a little bit of pumpkin 
that I have cut up here, which will definitely be fast food, and they will love it and get into it almost immediately. I'm going to cover that up with a little bit of cardboard that has been soaking, and cover that up with the casting so that everything stays nice and, and wet. Then I'm going to give it an entire covering of cardboard. It's getting to be that season, the furnace is on, and so now I have to be doubly careful with the bins in the basement here where the furnace is to make sure that everything stays nice and moist. If you like this video, I have an entire playlist that you can watch right over here. And of course, if you've already seen that, then YouTube thinks you're going to like this video over here. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.